So, hi again. So, let us now proceed to our second topic for this week. So, let's talk about health as a multifactorial phenomenon. So, when we say multifactorial, it means that health is influenced or um, is composed of several factors that might influence health. Okay. Okay. So, those factors include the following. First one, political factor. So, when we talk about political factor, uh, we are referring to one's leadership or how he or she rules, manages, and how other people concerned are followed to actively participate in the decision-making process. So, yung health, yung health ng ating bayan, or just like what happened um, today, di ba? Or in our current situation. So, there is a pandemic. So, yung mga decision makers, yung mga politician natin, very important yung kanilang decision about, let's, for, let's say for example, alabas na yung vaccines. Okay. So, nakakasalalay dito ang health ng mga Pilipino. So, dapat maayos ang kanilang decision or mapag-aralan nila dapat kung ano yung best decision kanilang dapat um, gawin for the health of the Filipinos, especially during this pandemic. So, yung kanilang decision is very crucial, very relevant, very important na dapat um, um, ito ay makakatulong for the health of the Filipinos sa buong country. Okay? So, under your political, we have two uh, related concepts um, such as the political will and empowerment. So, when we say political will, this refers to the determination to pursue something that is in the interest of the majority. So, dapat the political um, people or the politicians, the decision maker, dapat yung decisions nila should be based on the interest of the majority. Okay, para sa pangkalahatan. Okay? For the good of the majority. Okay? And empowerment. So, this refers to the ability of the person to do something. So, it involves creating a circumstances where people can use their faculties, abilities at the maximum level in the pursuit of common go goals, of the common goals for the everybody. Okay? So, empowerment. The, another factors here is the economic factors so this refers to the production distribution and consumption of goods and services and how this affect health and development so a study of this factor leads to one look into economic factor influence how and at, and at what point the client enters the healthcare system so, meron ba economic alimbawa dito sa Pilipinas? Um, yung example na lang sa mga medications or sa mga vaccines, flu vaccines, simply as that. So, paano kung yung client ay wala siyang kakayahan? So, meron bang ino-offer? Meron bang ino-offer dito sa government natin? Or kaya ba ng government natin na mag-supply ng ganun kadami? Let's say, for example, um, in this pandemic, the vaccines for COVID-19. So, economically, kaya ba isupply ng buong Pilipinas? May i-distribute ba sa lahat to everybody? Mula sa pinakamayaman hanggang sa pinakamahirap? Makaka-receive ba sila ng vaccines na yun kapag iyon ay effective at lumabas na pwede nang gamitin? So, those are some of the factors. Kasi kung hindi, ay eh, talaga affected pa rin ang health. Eh, kung ilan lang ang merong vaccines, eh, how about those who cannot afford to buy, to buy the vaccines? So, what will happen to the health? Diba? Pwede pa rin, maipituhan pa rin ang buong bansa. For, kung halimbawa, ito lang yung may vaccines, ito wala. Pwede pa rin kumalat yung virus. Ganyan. So, ibig sabihin, economically, politically, it really influence to the health of the people living in, a, living in a particular place or country. And another factor is the socio-cultural factors. So, this refers to um, the social 
and cultural variables that influence a client's health practices, the dynamic of health care, and the client care provides provider relationship. So, ito yung mga practices. Ito yung mga beliefs of the entire community. So, it affect kung paano yung health. Eh, kung sa community na to, ito yun. Ito yung community na to. Ay, ayaw po namin ng vaccines. Ayaw po namin. Hindi po kami naniniwala sa vaccine. So, that's a big problem. Kung paano mo sususunan yan. Uh, you need to really um, educate them about the vaccines. Kasi ang daming fake news na lulamalabas na yun. So, what if in a certain um, community, ito yung practice nila, ito yung belief nila, dahil ito na yung napasok sa mind nila. Okay? So, that would affect again the health of everybody. And another factor is the environment. So, when we say environment, this refers to the sum total of all the conditions and elements that make up the surrounding and influence the health and health practices of the client. The environment with which the patient lives and works either promote and maintain health or increase the likelihood of illness or even death. Ano ba yung environment kung saan siya nag-work? Um, uh, is he or she exposed to hazards? Like for example na lang, during this pandemic again, eh, eh yung nurses, nag-work siya or nagkikater ng COVID patient, Okay, kung yung environment, eh, kulang-kulang ang PPAs doon. Kulang-kulang ang um, facilities. So, yung, yung certain nurses or individual that are working in a particular area, they are prone, they're at risk for um, illness, di ba? And even death. And the health workplace. Ito yung workplace mo. Um, according to the OH, um, ito yung mga dapat no for the health um, healthy dapat yung workplace like for example, para masabi yung uh, a workplace as healthy, it should be clean older, uh, orderly well ventilated adequately lighted smoke free and adequately secured, so it promotes and protects the health and safety of the workers and their families and on barrios healthy of barrios Okay. The people that usually work together towards attaining sustainable improvement in their lives and aspirations. And healthy prison. So, yung sa mga nasa kulungan, nakatira. So, it should be clean and safe detention place with adequate facilities and services. Address the physical, mental, spiritual, social, and economic needs of the inmates or ails lahat sila na nandun, magkakaroon ng problem, magkaroon ng um, psychological problem, um, physiological problem that leads to illness. It is a temporary home that promotes justice, peace, rehabilitation, and healthy lifestyle. Healthy homes, okay. This is where responsible parents provide household members with the basic physical, social, economic, emotional, mental, moral, spiritual care in a safe, peaceful, sanitary environment where God reigns supreme. So, si Lord naman talaga ang pinakahari natin. So, healthy cities. Kung naman sabi natin healthy yung cities. One where the physical environment, especially the workplace, the street, and other public places promotes safety, order, and cleanliness through structural and manpower support. Ito yung according to the OH. So, kailangan ganito ang requirements. A healthy resort, di ba? Mahilig din kayo pumunta sa resort. So, this place should provide rest, recreation, relaxation, and wholesome entertainment that is clean, safe, accessible, and affordable to most Filipino families. It promotes, provides, and maintains conditions addressing social, environmental, and health concerns. Healthy hospitals. So, one that provides comprehensive care. So, it should be comprehensive. So, total care. It is not only a center for care, but also of preventive care. 
na preventive care. So, um, bago pa magkaroon ng illness, so nagpo-provide na ito ng mga preventive measures that uh, may i-prevent ang illness. Hence, the concept of hospitals as center of wellness. It should be clean and, adi and have adequate resources, competent hospital personnel, it should be affordable and accessible, yung mga services nila, okay? It is patient-centered and has provisions for health education for patients, watchers, and, visit and visiting public. So, healthy vehicles. So, vehicles should be clean, safe, comfortable, well-ventilated, and in good running condition. It should be manned by reliable and dependable licensed operators who are physically and mentally fit, has one or two health information giving posters, stickers, or other educational materials, and are smoke-free. Okay, for the healthy streets, should be uh, well-maintained roads and public waiting areas. Well-marked traffic signs and pedestrian crossing lanes. Meron dapat. Clean and obstruction-free sidewalks. Obstruction-free sidewalks daw. Applicable ba sa Pilipinas? Okay. Free or, or has minimal traffic problems. Applicable din ba? Fight air pollution by being a part of a clean and green initiative. So, proper and visible street names. Dapat may mga street names with adequate and strict law enforcement. So, healthy hotels. It should be clean and pleasant place that provides comfort, security, conforms to a set of guidelines and standards, and promotes a healthy lifestyle. So, healthy schools. It provides health instruction through classroom learning, non-curricular activities, and maintains adequate basic health service to both the pupils or students and teachers and other personnel. So it should promote healthy school living through the, cre through the creation and maintenance of supportive structures for positive health behavior change. Healthy eating places. So it should serve and cater food and drinks that are safe, nutritious, properly prepared, stored, and transported, and complies with sanitary standards. So, healthy movie houses. So, nanonoodin tayo niyan after the pandemic, di ba? Place providing rest, creation, and wholesome entertainment. It should be safe and has competent and friendly employees who are available to assist moviegoers with their needs. It promotes and maintains conditions addressing social, developmental, and healthy concerns. It has sanitary toilets and adequate communication facilities. Healthy ports should be clean, spacious, and secure with facilities for public waiting areas, passenger or passenger terminal, safe drinking water, sanitary food shops, and public toilets. So it should control disease-causing vectors, minimize unnecessary hazards, and with medical facilities conveniently and economically accessible to public transport and communication. Healthy markets okay, should have enough water supply, proper drainage, and well-maintained toilet facilities. The quality of foods are sold within the reach of the common people. Uh, market vendors, buyers, supervisory team, and sanitary inspectors are working together for well-organized and honest market system. So those are actually 15 yun na sinasabi ng DOH na dapat ay guidelines for those um, places that mentioned kasi those are part of the environment okay di ba sinabi natin yung environment has influence to our health um actually this ends my um presentation my second presentation sabi dito forgive yourself you are not perfect 
Show yourself grace. You are still learning. Show yourself patience. You are on a journey. So good luck. And God bless, of course.